What's good, folks? This is Real G, Real Gibson. Another episode of IB Sports. And this week, I'll be talking about, of course, FIBA. You know, they wrapped up their little round, so now it's go time next week. Also, I'll be talking about trades around the NBA. Also, we got NFL quarterbacks and priceless hair. <laughs> and last but not least, I will be getting into baseball, brawling it up. <laughs> With the Marlins and the Nationals, baby. Real G, let's get this thing. Alright. So, MLB. If you caught MLB, you know what I'm saying? Lately, you already know what happened. With that Marlins Nationals game. Your boy Niger Morgan. <laughs> he got clotheslined, got stupid, and tried to go in there, act like he was G, and and just run up, thought he could run up on, you know what I'm saying? Whoever he was run up on run up on. This guy, he was at bat. Come on now, you're at bat. Your team is now on the field right now. You're at bat. That means you're the only one out there. So don't think you're just gonna get mad. And act G and go in and do what you want to without getting what clothesline <laughs> out of nowhere and the team just stopped on that ass like nigga are you stupid like who like who do you think you are you you, you playing for the Washington Nationals not the Florida Marlins we G round this thing automatically and so it, it, they just they just mobbed on this guy and so I don't know what he was screaming for after he got up like he was G because that was just downright just stupid. Ridiculous thing I heard earlier this week. Your boy Troy Palomalu's hair is insured for for a million dollars for a, sh a shampoo company in London. This guy, out of all the body parts he could got insured, his hair. I don't know any. I don't know a female whose hair. You know what I'm saying? A celebrity's female whose hair is insured. Ever like <laughs> I know I've heard of legs insured. I've heard of freaking upper body insured, but hair. This guy freaking beast. So whoever fucking pulls this guy's hair in in the regular season is just fucking idiotic. Why? Because like <laughs> they're, they're they're fucked up automatically. Like I, I believe they're gonna get fined for that shit from from the NFL, from the shampoo company. From goddamn everybody, because this nigga Troy Palomalu, this that that shit must be like better than more most females hair. You know what I'm saying? See right here, no homo. Because like, if it's insured for a million damn dollars, then goddamn it, he, that nigga must be bringing in money over there in London automatically. And I know this guy is an endorsement, so I know this nigga's getting paid by them. So Troy Palomalu, you can quit football right now, cause your hair's insured for a million dollars overseas. So you straight, my friend, straight up. So, you know, NBA season is, is approaching, you know, September, so it's approaching about two months. And what more best to talk about than trades? You know, Carmelo wants out, and surprisingly, Jamal Crawford wants out because they won't give him a contract extension. So, why not just trade him, which is what the NBA is trying to do. Uh, rumors going around, they got Carmelo and Jamal Crawford talks and trade as... The Nuggets will trade Carmelo and J.R. Smith for the Hawks, Jamal Crawford, and Josh Smith. Now, the only thing with this is Josh Smith, to me, is an impact player on the Hawks. And, you know, Carmelo is an impact player on the Nuggets. So, both of these teams, you know, the Nuggets will lose scoring. The Hawks will gain scoring, but the Hawks will lose defense as the Nuggets will gain defense. Because, you know, Carmelo and J.R., Together, just offensive, you know, I believe any given night these guys can combine for, say, about 35. And But as for with Joe Johnson on that team, I think these guys would be pretty, pretty beast, you know. They can match up against, they might, they might match up against Boston, you know. But hell no, not Miami. Fuck no. <laughs> too, too big, too, too motherfucking powerful. And as for the West Coast, you know, Jamal Crawford looks like you'd be having to step up and be that star player. You know, no more six man for you. But we'll see how this goes down. 
in the future. I want to see the trade happen, you know, because I want to see Atlanta, you know, go ahead and do this thing. Probably won't get past Miami, but I would like to see him in the Eastern Conference Finals at least, you know what I'm saying? Just just, just, just for competition-wise in the NBA, you know, so we're going to have everybody, you know, the West be more powerful and everything, and the East just get crushed by Miami. So we'll see how this thing goes in the future. So USA played Iran also. <clears throat> now, this was Iran's, you know, first little debut in FIBA, and... They didn't do as horrible as I thought they was going to do, but they still got that ass whooped. But what I can say is whoever that 7-2, I don't know how to pronounce his fucking name, but this nigga's like 7-2, I think like 285 on Iran's team. This nigga's a motherfucking beast. Like, of course, you know he won't play, play for NBA because <laughs> they always got that, <laughs> that terrorist mark on them. But this nigga was just... I ain't never seen, like, I believe he would get, probably give y'all problems, and that, that's straight up, like, no speaking English, but that nigga can ball. The rest of the Irans, you know, they suck. I don't, don't know what the hell they were doing, but this guy, this, this guy, he's got he's got some talent. I don't know if it was his day or what, but he, he was pretty good. He gave USA, you know, the big man, at least, run for their money, you know, but they still lost by 30. But as for size wise, I ain't never seen an Iran that big. But we're gonna see how USA will do. You know what I'm saying? Next week. It's one or done now. There is though you can lose and you got another game. They have to win like now. And the last, you know, the last game they played, not Iran, the game before that, you know, one of those games they won by two points. So I'm kinda shaky on that one. I'm I'm either thinking Brazil or Spain. Can give them a run for their money. But we'll see. Hopefully USA can pull this thing on out and bring this goal home. Because the last one was 94, I believe, as far as FIBA World Championship. And it's about time you got you guys need another one because straight up, just it's you guys are the beasts of the basketball world and it, it, it would be sad to see another country win. You know, you already didn't win the soccer. So we gotta bring something home, damn it. So, God damn it, we'll see how they do this next coming up week. They get a day off, you know, and that's about it. Thanks for tuning in, people. This was another segment of IB Sports. Once again, I'm Real G. You know, you can always follow us on Twitter at IB Sports and subscribe to us at YouTube. You know, comment, you know what I'm saying? Let us know if you have your comments, what your thoughts are on anything. As a matter of fact, if I didn't talk about something, you know, just let us know if you want to hear us talk about something or what our, you know what I'm saying, what our opinions is on something that's dealing with anything in the world of sports. Because this is Ivy Sports and this is what we do. Once again, Rail G signing off. Yeah.